destination Yuri, thoroughly enjoying with you there the magnificent musicality of Andrea Pacelli. Uh, and I'm glad you're with us and glad we're going out to you. Wherever you are in the world, be it Manhattan or Manitoba, be it the east or the west coast of the United States, be it down in Christchurch in New Zealand, be it over in Australia, we're there with you this morning. And with us in studio now, Anne Dawson from Bernardo's. How are you, Anne? I'm well. It's You're nice to be here. Thank it's you. It's always good. This us. is your second time. Yes. And it's good to have you back, for Thank goodness sake. Thank you. <laughs> but we're, the reason we're talking to Anne this morning is a, a recent statistic came out about the, numbers of chil the number of children who have parents in prison in Northern Ireland. Of course, Bernardo's is the children's charity. The number of children uh, who have parents in prison in Northern Ireland and folk from Newry, families from Newry, from Derry, families from Bangor, from Hollywood, from Portadown, they're all visiting. They're getting in buses, they're getting in trains, and they're transporting themselves down to the prisons to visit mummy or daddy or whoever's in there. So conceivably, this will, well, assuredly, this will have some impact on the children themselves. So this is something you're looking at, Anne, that impact. Yeah, Bernardo's has been working in all four prisons across Northern Ireland for 20 years. Mm. Well, and as, as those prisons have changed over the last 20 years. And um, children are very much affected when their parents go to prison. They can, um, sometimes they're not told where their parent has gone, you know, for lots of different reasons. They, or they're told daddy's gone to work or daddy's gone to hospital or, or mummy. Or, you know, they're, so they're maybe not always told the truth. Um, but they'll know that there is anxiety in the house. They might be told by their friends at school um, that can lead to bullying. If they are told their father is, or mother is in prison, it can lead, the children can feel anxious, they can feel stressed, they can feel traumatised. It can lead to substance misuse, it can lead to truancy, it can impact on their schooling, it can impact you're on their health yeah. their, and their mental health. You're, so you're using, yeah, before we go further, you're using a word there constantly can mm -hmm. have these effects. It, what effects are they really having in reality? It, every child is affected differently. Yeah. So I'm, I'm saying all the different yeah. things. That have, you, have you a swathe of uh, detected problems as a consequence of the incarceration of a person? A parent? Yeah, all, all those things that I yeah. just said, but all uh, of those, uh, but they, people can have... Mm some of those things, yeah. children can have some of those mm. things, one of those things, it, it, it's how children react yeah. or cope with a parent in prison mm. it, it depends on the individual. I'm just wondering about the extent numerically of the problem, uh, is, it, is it not terribly serious as a problem, is it, uh, is it a very serious problem, is it something that's halfway along the range? I think every child, if their parent is in prison, is mm. affected by it. Mm. It will affect them and it will obviously affect their relationship with their parent mm. because their parent is physically removed from them. Mm. So that has a big, and then when the parent is in prison, the parent can feel that they don't have an ability to, to parent. Mm. They don't know how to parent from, um, from prison. And uh, they, they just don't feel, yes, that, that, that they're in a position that they can. Mm. So sometimes they can absolve themselves of mm. any parenting. And that has a very detrimental effect on the child as well. You more than most have the opportunity to gauge it and to see it. And what I'm trying to put a handle on is the actual numbers involved. It, 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 are yeah. the numbers worrying or is it just something that's trickling along nicely and it's not really a problem? Well, children of prisoners aren't a group that you can identify. No, but you see them when they come to visit. You see them when they come to visit, So from yes. your visitations so, and your presence yeah, there. Yeah, we, we know that um, Bernardo's worked with The Detail, which is an online investigative magazine, and mm. we asked the Northern Ireland Prison Service for their statistics about children visiting prisons. Mm. And we know that in last year, in 2013, 5,000 children from across Northern mm. Ireland made uh, visited prisons. Mm. Some of those children visited only once. Some of those children visited numerous times. Altogether, children made 25,000 visits to prisons mm. last year. Wow. 5,000 children made 25,000 visits. Mm. So there's 5,000 children out there with either a mother, a father, mm. an uncle, a grandpa, mm. uh, whoever, and they're going into prisons and visiting them. So there's 5,000 children separated from mm. their parents. Okay, we, we know the raft of uh, consequences of that. You've been telling us about that. But how are you dealing with it uh, in practical terms within Bernardo's? So Bernardo's, we want to work with, pe with the parents who are in prison or the carers because 
and our work is very much child-centered and it's about making the prisoner realize that they still have parenting responsibilities and that they can still be a parent while they are in prison. Hold on, you've lost me a wee bit there. How can you be a parent when you're in prison? So you, you have visits and you, you, the children would come in and visit you in prison, that you would speak to them on the phone. Whenever you phone home, you're always speaking to them. You're asking the children, how was your day? What did you do? What did you learn in school? Mm. Have you done your homework? What was your homework? Mm. Can you bring your homework in when you come on your next visit? Um, it's mm. supporting the mother with whatever decisions the mother is making. It's not saying, oh sure, let them have it, it'll be fine. Because sometimes parents in prison feel like, well, I have to be, I have to let them have whatever they want because I feel so guilty and no, so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not good parenting either. No. It's about still setting down boundaries. It's still setting yourself up as a role model for that child. Yeah as a good parent even though you're in prison so there's yeah. lots of things you still can do yeah. and it's about maintaining that contact with the child yeah. because a parent who maintains it's been proven that a parent who maintains contact with the child is six times less likely to reoffend yeah, of course that, when they yeah. come out of prison mm. and that means that they're more likely for the mm. family to stay together and a family that stays together is a happier family oh, for yeah, the child of course, of course, of course. you know I, e even if it's not a family that's actually living mm. together, that mm. mightn't happen, but a, f a family there where there's co-parenting yeah. going on yeah. and the child knows both their parents yeah. um, would have be you, the Have you the, do, do the prison service, does the prison service facilitate your going in and having one-to-one -one, uh, sessions with incarcerated parents so that you can guide them and lead them on the right path? Yes, we work very wow. closely with the Northern Ireland Prison Service and we have a very good relationship with them. Um, we don't always work one-to-one, -one. we do group work yeah, yeah, with yeah. the parents. Within the prison. Um, so we work across all with the, 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 the young offenders in Hyde mm. Bank, the mothers in Hyde Bank, and then the fathers or the, um, in McGilligan and McGabry. And then we have a very, um, we have a unique program in McGabry called Families Matter, where the dads, um, or maybe the grand the grandpa sometimes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, can go on. It's a 17-week program and they live on a dedicated landing for the 17 weeks. And while they're there, they do classes on child development, mm. um, ages and stages, so that they, and they learn about parent positive parenting techniques. Mm. They get to think about what sort of parent they want to be and what sort of parent they are and what yeah. changes they might have to make. Um, we get them to reflect on the fact that their actions have had consequences for their family and for their children and that their children are actually the forgotten victims of their crime yeah. and get them to really think about that. Then mm. we organize, uh, we do cookery classes, money management. Oh. Um, so for the parents they, in prison? Yes, so that when they go out they have all these skills and they're able yeah. to put them into practice. But we also then have, um, with we work with the Northern Ireland Prison Service, we do one extended family visit on a Saturday once a month yeah. for four hours, which is very different. Usually pris uh, prison visits are one hour. Yeah, and the father has, table, maybe. the father has to be stationary, sitting on the seat. He can't get off his seat. If his child yeah. runs off, he can't go and get the child and bring it back. He can't bounce baby yeah. on his knee. But in these family visits that we have organized, that the prisoners can get down on the floor, they're dads for the day, yeah. and they're having bonding sessions with their children. They can get down on the floor, they can play pool, they can do homework with their children, they cook the lunch, the, ch the family all sit round a table, sick. they bring the lunch and they all eat it together. And that's so important to, for the family bonds and for the children. And I was at mm. one of those family visits, and we were in the room, it was a large room, all the toys were there, the dads were there, we were waiting for the families to arrive. The families arrived, mm -hmm. suddenly they burst through the doors and this little boy, he must have been four or five, he just came flying into the room and he was, Daddy! And it would uh, have broken your heart. And the daddy just yeah. picked his little boy mm -hmm. up and mm -hmm. flung him round. And he can't do that on a normal visit. And that made that little boy's day. And you just thought, mm -hmm. he's been so excited last night thinking, I'm gonna see daddy yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. And that prisoner, yeah. was a daddy and it made me so proud of the organization yeah. that I work for that we did that and we did that for that child yeah. that day and for all the other children that got yeah. to spend four hours with their dads where the dads can then put into practice what they've been learning on our uh -huh. parenting program yeah. and be good parents yeah. you know and of course if I was a, if I was a prisoner uh, it would make me a better prisoner to come through this experience yes and that's what the dads have fed back to us and said this is the best thing I, I've been 
they'll say, one said, I've been in and out of the prison system for 20 years. This is the best mm -hmm. thing I've ever done. I can't wait to get out and put into practice what I've learned and I will never be back. Yeah. Because they realize when they do our course, what they're missing out on. Yeah. They really get it, you mm -hmm. know, and I spoke to another family from the Newry and Mourn area. The dad went into prison when his little baby um, was just born and he's maintaining mm -hmm. that contact with her. She's coming up on two now. Through those four mm -hmm. hourly sessions, he gets to hold her, he mm -hmm. gets to play with her, mm -hmm. he gets mm -hmm. to um, yeah. feed her. Yeah, he's you know, dad all those, He's dad, you yeah. know, and she yeah. gets to know him. So when he goes home, he's not this stranger yeah. coming home. You also pick up the other end of the spectrum, the, the less wonderful uh, end when children deprived of parents who are in parents in prison they go off the rails because of the absence of a parent uh, y you deal with that end of things as well well this is me we we want to maintain that parent child of course. relationship that's but what's think so of, important. think of the one that goes off the rails that it's not working that there's a, there are uh, some children who uh, because they don't have the father in the house with them and um, you have tried your best but nothing can be done you're coming across children either from that scenario or the general scenario of peer illegality within the community that youngsters start to go wrong. How, how early do you uh, pick up youngsters who are going wrong and can anything be done? Yeah, lots of things can be done. Um, we, we're working with children all the time in lots of different circumstances where they have difficulties in their lives and they're reacting badly to that. The earlier you can get in and work with a young person, the better the outcome for them is going to yes. be. So it's all about early intervention in whatever stage mm. they're at. Mm. Um, you know, we wouldn't say that a young person has gone wrong. That wouldn't be in Bernardo's terminology. No, but if he's stealing cars and setting fire to his neighbor's bin, yes. he has gone wrong. Yeah, yes. Well, I, that's, know, I know, I know yes. the political nuance. Yes, you, so it's, right it's about getting in early and putting the supports around them and putting things in place yeah. that are, are I mean that they don't feel isolated from society, mm. that they don't feel let down, that they don't feel um, that they have no aspiration or no hope, mm. that there are things there for them and that they are a valued member of society and that they have people around them who care for them and, and, what, and Bernardus does what's that. What's your, what's your provenance? Ways. Where did you come from to be where you are now? Because you're obviously bringing great communicative skills with you and you're doing a lovely job in telling Thank the world you. about this. Uh, you know, what's your well, motivation? I'm, I'm, Where did you come from? Well, I, I'm a journalist hey. by training. How are you so doing? I'm a storyteller. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what journalists are. We're yeah. storytellers. And um, I'm so proud of the work that Bernardo's does. I love telling the story yeah. of what Bernardo's does in all its different ways yeah. and the difference mm. that it makes. So yes, I'm, I'm a journalist by trade. So you've taken, it's, it's a, you, you'll, you'll be a, a journalist by, uh, for life because you can never yes. hang up your, That's your what coat of journalism. I might do a job with Bernardo's where I'm communicating about Bernardo's, yeah, but yeah. that's what I always feel inside. I'm, I'm a journalist. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm a storyteller and a communicator. Well, good on you. Good. Yeah. So w the future, what's the next step for the, the prison in reach, let's call it, of, of Bernardo's? The parenting programs. We would like to see the Families Matter program expanded. I mean, ideally what we would like is that that would be universally available for all prisoners particularly prisoners who are coming up to release. And is it so not? No, because it's mm. the funding for these. We've, we've had about 90, um, this program, this particular program, Families mm. Matter, started in October 2012, mm. and it's a 17 week program. Um, we've had about 90 prisoners have gone through it on rotation so far, and we're just about to start the next session. Mm. Um, so, and it's only in McGabry, but these programs, like mm. everything else, mm. are so expensive to mm. run for staffing wise. And but you know, it's fantastic that we have started it. We're beginning to see huge changes, and um, the feedback that we're getting from the prisoners is just so positive. Mm. And we're and particularly from the families. You know, they really, you know, when they can see that their fathers have said, "I'm going to do this course. Mm. I'm putting my family first. I'm going to do this parenting mm. course with Bernardo's, and I'm going to be a better dad, and I'm going to put you first. And when I get out, I'm." not coming back mm. and that's mm. so important and then yes. the the wives the girlfriends that means so much to them that mm. they feel that there's commitment there from the uh, dad course, to that, the family that that sentence i'm not coming back is joy to the ears of the children yes they know you that know. they're going to have dad home and it's not going to go yes. back again and that's what you know i, I started mm. off by saying at the beginning if they do if parents can 
um, maintain the relationships mm -hmm. with their children when they leave prison, if they have a good mm -hmm. relationship and a consistent relationship, they're six times less likely mm -hmm. to go back. Okay. And that's what everybody wants. It's better yeah. for society. Mm -hmm. It's better for everybody. How do people help you outside, uh, people who might want to support your work? You're a charity. We're a charity, yes. Where I do mean, they find out about you? You have a website? Yes, we have a website. So uh, you can go to um, uh, www.bernardos.org.uk. It's dead easy. Forward slash yeah. Northern Ireland. Yeah. Because <laughs> we are part of a, a so bigger charity. It's bernardos.uk. Dot org, or, or dot UK, UK, dot org dot UK, forward slash, forward slash Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Or just put Bernardo's Northern Ireland and in you'll Google. get in. Yes. And, uh, People can support you by. Yes. Can and they volunteer on, for you? Can they organise collections? We're looking collections? for volunteers. Yes, yeah. we do need, and we're going to need volunteers at our at that family Saturday family day in Magabry. Wow. We need volunteers for that to come and help. Um, you well, know, with presumably people who want to help, they need to do it soon because uh, you need police clearance and all the rest of well, it. Well, yes, folk. yes, that all so, has to be gone. And then you would have your your kind of uh, pottery of people there yes. who would be there constantly for you. Yes. You could so call on at any time. We, we make sure our volunteers are very supported. Mm. And um, uh, yes, we, we have volunteers, we have fundraisers, we have a lovely group in Newry. Yeah. I think you had them in. Yes, we um, did. Some of the Bernardo's Helper yes. Group. Yeah. And they raise money for us. And um, I'm actually going to see one of them just after Excellent. this. Excellent. So, you know, we have a network of fundraisers across Northern Ireland. Uh, we also get statutory monies. Mm. Um, you know, it's, but it's, we're constantly, it's a constant battle. It's, you know, a constant. Well, I, I must tell you before you go of a wonderful prison officer in McGilligan. He's dead and gone now and uh, a lovely man. But he, uh, he was aware that when young people went into prison, when they came out, they would often wear it as a badge of honor among their peers. Look at me, I'm a big fella. Mm. And he introduced a scheme called Prison Me? No Way! And the way he did that, to create that ethos within young people, they had a scheme that took a young person into the prison for one day, and that person would be interfaced with a senior prisoner with whom uh, there could be contact and could be a, a, good, uh, a good relationship uh, of mentoring and guiding. And the young person would, in the course of that day, be, be, giving, be given a feel of what the prison system is and what it does to you. And the feeling was, and it always worked, that when they came out again, the young people, after that one day, they had this feeling of, I don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. So it was no longer, I'm a big fella, I was in prison, or I'm going to prison. I don't want to go to prison. Prison yeah. me? No it's way. It's not fun. It's no fun. It's, it's, it's a not rough fun. Place. You go well. Thank and you. And we wish you well. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. All the best to you. Thank you. God bless you. Go well. Thanks, Andrew. Some music.